Another food hall. I'm Shinichi. I'm Satoshi. And today we are going to be reviewing some Japanese ice cream. I don't know why we never reviewed Japanese ice cream before. Like a year ago, Hagen Dazs ice cream because they came out with a special Japanese flavors, but we've never done one since then. But we thought, why not? Because it's super hot here in Tokyo. I mean, super, super hot. I mean, it feels like we're going to melt, which is why I have my fan and my Jinbei and Satoshi has his normal clothes. <laughs> so let's get started. Uh, Chocolate Giant. Chocolate Giant? Chocolate Giant. Oh, it is called Chocolate Giant. 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 So yes. does that mean it's chocolate and nuts? Nuts, yes. Okay, nuts I, I thought it would be chocolate and coconut, but chocolate nut. Mm. 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 good? Mm. Can I have a bite? Very standard Japanese ice cream taste. Very standard Japanese ice cream taste. <laughs> All the ice cream that we're reviewing today is the standard, not expensive ice cream. They're all about 100 yen or lower. But chocolate is very crunchy. Yeah, is it? Yes. And uh, nuts too. Mmm. Mmm. Well, nuts is usually crunchy, right? <laughs> mm. Is your chocolate on the inside as well, or is it just on the top? There is some chocolate on the inside of the home. Mm -hmm. huh? Yeah, I remember that. I remember eating this a long time ago and I was surprised at that. I usually don't like ice cream cones. I get bored of the cone really easily, but this cone I like. I like very much because of that chocolate coating. My first choice was Aisu Manju. Wow, what, yes. what, what, what is Manju? Manju, Manju. Manju is, you know, Japanese. Confectionery manju. Do you know manju? Um, it's like a Japanese cake, I guess. And this one utilizes uh, Hokkaido azuki beans. Mm -hmm. So the azuki is very good. Mm -hmm. And the outside is ice cream. Mmm. Mmm. What is the outside? Yes, it's a milk. The first thing I notice is that it's not hard. It looks oh. like a popsicle, but it's not hard. It's very soft and creamy, milky, condensed milky taste. Uh. And I have to get to the azuki part. Mmm. It's a, it's a azuki bean. It's a azuki bean paste coated with uh, frozen condensed milk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there is definitely more azuki bean than outside for, for this certain ice cream. So much azuki. A lot of azuki in here and it's really nice. The beans are very soft, the texture is really nice, and it's not so sweet. It actually is a perfect balance with the sweetness of the outside. Mm -hmm. This is good for 100 yen. Choco Monaka Jumbo. Chocolate Monaka Jumbo. Chocolate Monaka Jumbo. I this love is this. your favorite ice cream. I always eat. Even Always. It's, That's the winter. only one you eat. Yes. I only oh, eat this. This ice cream, the outside is wehas and inside there are ice cream and the chocolate bar. Yes. Yes, like this. So, itadakimasu. Hi. And you know, the great thing about this mm. is that you can share. You just break it in mm. half and share with a friend. Mm. Like me. Mm. Oh, I don't share. Oh. Mmm. Eating. Mmm, the crispy of the away has, I think it's good. And the, mm -hmm. the hardness of chocolate mm -hmm. is also good. And the creaminess of the ice cream. Mm -hmm. So you get crispy wafer, a snappy chocolate, and you get creamy ice cream in mm -hmm. one bite. So not bad at all. Mm -hmm. My second choice is something called Coolish. Coolish. Coolish, exactly. Mm -hmm. Coolish times. Kalpis. 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 Yes. Kalpis. 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 Not Kalpis. Uh, Kalpis. And if you are a fan of Japanese drinks or sweets or treats, you probably know what Kalpis is. 
cheddar pieces uh, made from fermented milk? Maybe. Something like that. <laughs> it tastes like yogurt, really. So this is a uh, collaboration between Coolish and Harabisu. And this is basically, you twist off the cap. And you kind of wait maybe 30 seconds to a minute to let it melt. And you drink it. You drink your ice cream. Drinking ice cream. Mm -hmm. mm. That's it. I it's like a like it. energy drink. Yes, but I really like it. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, I'm a fan of cutting this. And this is good. This is really good. And I like I like the fact that you, you don't have to deal with melting ice cream down your hand. Right, and, right, right, right. And you know, I don't know if you want to save it for later, you can just put the cap back on and put it back in the freezer and finish that other half later. And um, I really like this. I really like this. <laughs> How is it? Yes. yes. Yeah? Yeah? What do you I think, think um, this is very popular in Japan. It's like a chabet type ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> I got brain freeze. Ah. The next one is called Gari Gari Kun. Mm. Another one of your favorites. My favorite. <laughs> yes. But I've never seen this one. It's usually mm, blue. The regular one is a taste of soda. Soda. Yes. I mean, it's blue color. Blue color mm -hmm. soda taste. What, and, what and this is, is special. One? It's the Japanese pear taste. Japanese pear. Yes. I see. Is this like a limited edition? Yeah. I see. Mm -hmm. For summer, maybe. Mm. Come on. <laughs> really? Can I try it? Mmm. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Juicy, uh, it's like a really, really uh, pear juice. It is. It reminds me of shaved ice on yeah. a stick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's not hard like a popsicle. It's actually kind of soft, you know, so you don't really have Maybe to bite it. Mmm, it. Mm -hmm. my, my. Oh, this is refreshing on a hot day. Mm. It really, really tastes like pear. Japanese yes. pear. Japanese pear. Mm. Do you guys like Japanese pear? Because we are fans of Japanese pears. Yeah, we have to make sure we buy some this year. Oh. Last year, mm. I don't think we ate Japanese pears. We completely forgot about them. What fruit is in season right now? It's peach. Peaches! Peaches! Yes! We have to eat peaches. My next choice is something called the Big Suika Bar. Yay! Okay. And this is... I like it. And this is also your favorite. <laughs> look, this is not a watermelon, but they made it look like a watermelon with the watermelon seeds. It looks really, really funky. And, and just to let you know, we made something like this. Actually, we were inspired by this and we made it with real watermelon. You're gonna check that out. Make sure you check that recipe out by clicking on the eye or in the description box below. Okay, so, itadakimasu. Oh, mm -hmm. so it's taste. It's a watermelon taste. It tastes like artificial watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think the, the real watermelon taste, watermelon juice taste, mm -hmm. is not so sweet. Exactly. I, I, I actually think ours is better because we use real watermelon. Real watermelon. Yeah, yes. so it tastes like you're eating a watermelon. This is not bad. You, you still get a taste of watermelon. Do they have real watermelon here? Yeah. Oh, 5% watermelon fruit they use. And all I see, so these are chocolate chips. Really artificial. <laughs> yes, they show. <laughs> Our uh, watermelon popsicle is 80% uh, uh, fresh juice. That's true. That's true. And that's why they taste better. Well, I secretly bought one more. Oh! I got one more. Yes, I got. The ice cream version of the choco pie. Choco pie? Yes. Today is um, not please ice cream. Huh? It's not snack day. Mmm. Well, this is ice cream choco pie. Mm. Really? I've never seen. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Choco oh. pie. Yes. Choco mm. pie is this. It's this like cake-like confectionery that's really popular here in Japan, and uh, we use it for our freak shake. Right. The last time we made it. The strawberry. Strawberry free strawberry free cake, yeah. And um, this is really good. Um, this has ice cream inside of the chocolate pie, and it's really nice. It's like an ice cream sandwich made with a uh, cake instead of cookies. 
Okay. The cake is so fluffy. Mm. The chocolate mm. coating is crispy. Mm. Right. And the ice cream is really nice and vanilla y. I just felt like I went to an ice cream buffet. I think one of my dreams came true. So, friends, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to let us know which ones were your favorites. Did you like the chocolate pie ice cream, the pear one, your watermelon one, right? Or the azuki one. If you want to go check out the Hagen Dazs ice cream review I did last year, click on that i. We'll leave it up there as well. Also, don't forget to check out our watermelon popsicles because those were really, really good. Not even kidding. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay cool and hope you guys all have a wonderful summer. Auf Wiedersehen.